This is Tom Rooney with Maryville Livestock. We had 600 head this last week. Uh, had a really nice run of cattle for only having 600 head. Had two loads of uh, 863 pound steers. Uh, brought 234 from Gary Osborne. Really nice deal. Sold in one whack. Uh, predominantly black. Nice cattle. Uh, Chuck Spiking had some really nice <coughs> home raised cattle. Just brought his steers this week. Uh, Lion in weighed 748, brought 251 and a half. Uh, the larger, <coughs> larger end of the cattle, 871 at 235, and I mean you couldn't buy one any better. And uh, what was kind of neat about that deal is uh, the man that uh, bought them back, uh, Mark Deshawn, on the big end. Uh, they were cattle that uh, Chuck had bought from him, some heifers that he'd bought from him years ago, and it's just kind of nice to see that uh, that in our industry were, uh, you know people try to go back and buy their own genetics and, and help the guy that's buying their cattle back out on the other end. Uh, it's just kind of a nice part of our industry. Anyway, uh, the light cattle continue to sell real high. People still needing grass cattle, you know, from uh, shoot from down into Oklahoma on the grass or on the wheat to the Flint Hills cattle. And then, of course, all the cattle will stay right there at home. The uh, cow and bull markets continued to stay outstanding. We had about 125 cows and bulls. Uh, I believe our high bull was a dollar 42. You know, most of them kind of bring 125 to 35. The cows anywhere from about 75 to a dollar 10, uh, just depending on you know condition, kind, and how lean they are. But uh, overall, really nice sale. A lot of nice cattle. Uh, always appreciate uh, the buyers we continue to get a few new buyers and uh, that obviously helps the market uh, but i'd say also a shout out to our cow buyers i think we got as good a cow market as anywhere on the planet and that's all due to the buyers we have there we'll see you next week